Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to add a non-breaking space between two words. So for instance, in the example agreement that I've got here, we have got here clause 12, but it's on two separate lines. So we've got just a regular space there and we've got the 12 on the, on the on the separate line there. What we can do, instead of using normal space, you can use what's called a non-breaking space and that basically will keep those two words together so that they will never they will never separate so they'll, they'll never break they'll always be on the same line you can do it manually by just insert just inserting the non-breaking space wherever you find the clause or you can just use the find and replace function uh, and do and then just do it in one in one easy go so what we're going to do control h to open the dialog box or you can just you can go here home and use the replace box there. I'm just going to clear out what's already in there. Okay. What we do, we're going to search for the word clause. We're going to type in there in square brackets, clause. And then we're also going to type clause again, but this time with a capital C, so that it'll also pick up that clause as well. We're going to do space. And then we're also going to search for, because we want to search for clause, that comes before any number, okay? So before a number, we're gonna do the square brackets. Any number meaning not to nine, close the square brackets. We also wanna just sequence this, um, this, this order. So basically we're just gonna add round brackets here. So that's, that's one, one sequence. And this one is another sequence. So basically, the round brackets are just used to used to divide the pattern into logical sequences whenever you want to reorder something. In this case, we're not actually reordering something, but it's, it does come in useful to tell the replace what to do with the words in this in this sequence. So basically, we're going to go to replace with, and we're going to do backslash one. So, so basically, whatever's in sequence one, so this first set of square brackets, basically just the word clause. Now, instead of pressing space, to get space in there, you're going to use click on special and then click on non-breaking space. Okay, and that comes up with a with a little symbol. So you've got your non-breaking space there, and then you're going to search for what, what, whatever is in string number two, which is basically the number. So we're going to do backslash two, and that tells you that's it, just to replace it with whatever in that second set of brackets. So you're going to click on use wildcards. If you don't click on that, it doesn't work. And then we're just going to click replace all. So it's said it's made 18 replacements. So let's go, I'm just going to have a look. So the one that we were looking at was clause 12. So as you can see now here, it's clause 12 and it's all on the same line. And that little symbol, that little round symbol there, indicates a non-breaking space. You can see that the, if you've got your paragraph markers turned on, which is, which is here, you can see that that's a little sort of round symbol that's kind of above everything and the regular space is just like a black dot so that just shows you that that non-breaking space is in there and you can see that it's also done the the uppercase and lowercase has kept it how it was so you've got uppercase here it's kept it here and here you can see the lowercase one there's a non-breaking space there there's a non-breaking space there so that's a quick way of keeping words together i mean it's not you can, you can use it for all sorts of things like if you don't want the date to separate or you don't want mr Jones, you know, to be on separate lines. You can use this for all sorts of things. So it is actually a really handy and nifty way of doing this.